all set. Yeah. Ready to go. Ready for okay. it. <laughs> so, good afternoon everyone. And a very warm welcome to this fabulous setting of the Waterside Hotel. We have come to finally celebrate the marriage <laughs> of the marriage of the beach loving Claudia and Archie. I don't think you'll be on it much today. But I don't think so. <laughs> no. My name is Janet Hamilton. I'm a celebrant from the Humanist Society Scotland and I have to say it's an absolute pleasure to have been asked to conduct this ceremony today. We all know this isn't quite the wedding day they were hoping for when they ori originally booked for a year ago, but hopefully next year they will be able to have the big celebration with family and friends that they'd always wanted and desired. Claudia and Archie's thoughts are with those who can't be here today and I'm sure they'll all be disappointed but looking forward to next year. Yep. And I'll just invite everyone who's wa wa watching us via the webcam. <laughs> but this is still your marriage day and a significant event in your lives and in the lives of those that you're closest to. And I know you want to thank Rosalind and Fick for being here to witness the occasion and to join in their celebration. I have to say, all four of you are looking fabulous today. <laughs> no, please do. Amazing, bright, Claudia. Thank you. So this is a humanist ceremony and it contains no religious elements. Instead, it will focus on you, Claudia and Archie, and on your mm. outlook on life. Humanists endeavour to live a life that's both ethical and meaningful. They aim to be guided by reason, inspired by compassion, and informed by experience. And although humanism is non-religious, it does have a lot in common with many of the world's religions, focusing on tolerance, respect and dignity, as well as caring for our fellow human beings and the world around us. The ceremony will celebrate your marriage in a very personal way. We'll be reminded of your story as a couple, about how you met and how you've ended up standing here today, committing to one another in marriage. You've also chosen readings and an exchange of very personal vows. Some of what's included might be familiar to you, while some of it might be a wee bit different, reflecting the very personal content of a humanist ceremony. And now before we move on to the main part, let's have a very appropriate poem which you've chosen for today, entitled The One. When the one whose hand you're holding is the one who holds your heart. When the one whose eyes you gaze into gives your hopes and dreams their start. When the one you think of first and last is the one who holds you tight. And the things you plan together make the whole world seem just right. When the one whom you believe in puts their faith and trust in you, you've found the one and only love you'll share your whole life through lovely words. So as I already said in preparing for today, I asked you to share a wee bit of your story with us. In other words, to remind us a bit about how you met and how have you ended up here, standing in front of us, committing to one another in marriage. And this is what you told me in Claudia's words. <laughs> <laughs> we met in September 2008 on a group holiday to Ibiza. Archie's best friend Stephen and my uncle's brother-in-law had organised a group holiday but someone had dropped out and Stephen put out a, ma a, mass, a mass text to all his contacts asking if anyone fancied a free holiday to Ibiza. Thanks to Geoffrey declining the offer and my ward sister allowing me to swap my shifts, I took up the free place. Although we'd both known Stephen for many years, Archie and I had never crossed paths. Having a week to get to know each other, and despite of Archie very rarely being sober, <laughs> we hit it off and decided to exchange numbers and meet up in return. And both having children and working shifts, this took about three weeks to organise. Our first official date happened around mid-October. We decided to go for dinner at Scott's and Trin. The conversation never halted and we spoke until about 4am in the morning. We knew very quickly we had something special and Archie met my parents and Declan within a few weeks. We met as often as we could and had our first family holiday to Centre Parks the following summer. Fast forward five years and 
Archie moved in with me. The move from Glasgow to Troon wasn't without its issues for Archie. He was used to having his children and large family close by, so he had to find something to fill the time when he wasn't working. He'd always liked exercise and going to the gym, and he soon found a local one where he still goes, and where he has made some good friends. As the kids have grown, our time is spent enjoying nights in or out with friends, and we are known for having a very good social <laughs> Kind of try to counteract these by going to the gym and we also love going on holiday. In the October 2018 we were joining my parents on a special holiday to Santorini to celebrate my mum's 60th birthday. And it was on this holiday that Archie planned to also celebrate our 10 year anniversary of being together by proposal. Unbeknown to me this had been months in the planning along with my mum and dad. When Archie suggested a night at the poolside bar to watch the infamous sunset with some cocktails, I was delighted, but I hadn't expected my mum and dad to join us. <laughs> Little did I know this was all part of the plan. My mum had my ring and my dad was all set to be the photographer, and thanks to that we now have some amazing photos of Archie's surprise proposal. <laughs> Obviously, Claudia said yes. Little did Archie know that the wedding would be booked within a month of the return, <laughs> and I've been told he hasn't had a holiday since. No. <laughs> so here we are today. So also in preparing for the ceremony, I asked you both to think about the one thing that you would change about each other and one thing that you wouldn't change. And as far as I know, you haven't shared these with each other till now. So what you're about to hear is going to be a big, as big a surprise to you as it is to everyone else. <laughs> Firstly, we'll have what Claudia would and wouldn't change about Archie. I wouldn't change how much Archie loves, supports and, and encourages me in everything I do. However, I would change the snoring and grinding of his teeth when he's had too many drinks. <laughs> Thank you, Claudia. And now it's Archie's turn. So what you wouldn't change is, <laughs> I would stop, uh, I would, oh, oh, Archie's done it the other way around, okay. sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. What I wouldn't change about Claudia, I wouldn't change that she's got a lovely nature, is compassionate and has a heart of gold. What I would stop is her drying her hair at 7am on my day off, <laughs> because she's working. <laughs> And I'm sure she saves it just for my day off. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. So Claudia and Archie, we heard a bit about how you came to be together and what you most value about each other. You clearly didn't make the decision to get married lightly. This ceremony today is a significant event in your lives and obviously of those you're closest to. A wedding's a ceremony in which two people openly express their feelings and hopes for each other and as a couple. And this is recognised by you, whether here in, in, in person or watching online. And this is going to be a special day for everyone, including your friends and family. However, there's a lot more to today than that. By committing yourselves to each other in marriage, you are promising to enrich your lives together and as individuals. You're not promising to forgo your individuality, but to live in partnership together. This means you'll care for and work with each other so that you will both feel loved and secure, so that you'll both hopefully live a life which is fuller, happier and richer than it might be without your marriage. As well as sharing the things that you most value about each other, You've, I also asked you to share some thoughts about what marriage meant to you. Archie, you tell me marriage just means that you get to spend the rest of your life and be with your best friend through anything that gets put in front of you. You see, you couldn't have picked a better friend and drinking partner. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas Claudia, you tell me. Marriage is about formalising and celebrating our commitment to spend the rest of our lives together. Be able to spend the rest of my life with my best friend, the person I know loves me 
as much as I love him. So we have now come to an important part of our ceremony when you, Claudia and Archie, will make your vows or your personal promises to one another. Do you want to hand your flowers over? <clears throat> and I suggest you hold hands. So Archie and Claudia, as you make your vows to one another, you're holding the hands of your best friend. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will love you and cherish you through the years and give you strength and support when you need it. And I hope that as your hands are joined together now, your lives will be joined forever. And now for the vows. Firstly, Claudia, can you please repeat after me? Archie, I pledge my life to you. Archie, I pledge my life to you. I promise to honour and respect you. I promise to honour and respect you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And to be faithful to you always. And to be faithful to you always. I will love you. I will love you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Thank you, Claudia. And now for Archie, please repeat after me. Claudia, I pledge my life to you. Claudia, I pledge my life to you. I promise to honour and respect you. I promise to honour and respect you. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. And to be faithful to you always. And to be faithful to you always. I will love you. I will love you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. So thank you both for sharing these very personal vows with us today. Whilst you're still holding hands, I'm just going to read some very appropriate words by Mark Twain title these I can promise. I cannot promise you a life of sunshine. I cannot promise riches, wealth or gold. I cannot promise you an easy pathway that leads away from change or growing old. But I can promise all my heart's devotion. A smile to chase away your tears of sorrow. A love that's ever true and ever growing. And a hand to hold in yours through each tomorrow. And now we're coming to the bit that makes it all official, the legal declarations, which we're going to do along with the exchange of rings. Have we got the rings? Can you just take the respective rings one with another? And it's a little bit different. Nobody else is supposed to touch them. Been out of <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know. Are you ready? Yep. So Claudia and Archie, you've chosen to exchange rings as an outward symbol of your love for each other. The wedding ring's a circle, it's got no beginning and no end. It symbolises unity and infinity. It's a reminder of the giver and of the promises made. So Archie, are you ready to repeat after me? Yep. I, Archibald Glen Cobra. I, Archibald Glen Cobra. Accept you, Claudia Lynn Turley. Accept you, Claudia, Claudia Lynn Turley. In marriage. In marriage. As my lawfully wedded wife. As my lawfully wedded, married, wedded, wedded wife. As my lawfully wedded wife. <laughs> I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. And as I give you my hand to hold. As I give you my hand to hold. I give you my heart to keep. I give you my heart to keep. Okay, that's it. Three, 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 three. That's it. <laughs> Are you ready, Claudia? Yeah. Okay, please repeat after me. I, Claudia Lynn Tur Turley. I, Claudia Lynn Turley. Accept you, Archie. Archibald Glen Cobra. Accept you, Archibald Glen Cobra. In marriage. In marriage. As my lawfully wedded husband. As my lawfully wedded husband. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a token of my love for you. As a token of my love for you. And as I give you my hand to hold. And as I give you my hand to hold. I give you my heart to keep. I give you my heart to keep. So. <laughs> Archie and Claudia, by virtue of the declarations that you have made in my presence and in the presence of your witnesses, 
I have much pleasure in declaring you married and pronouncing you husband and wife. Yay! 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 So not, what we're going to do now is just take two or three minutes to sign the marriage schedule. Yep. It's going to be signed by you, our newlyweds, <laughs> along with our two witnesses, and confirmed by myself. Okay. So we'll just come round. Again, bring just a wee bit different. There we are. Okay. I've sanitised the pen. I'm supposed to sanitise it between every signature. Okay. There we are. Okay. So we'll just take a seat, Claudia. You signed here, let me see what it says, signature, just on. Just your normal signature and your name. And the same for you, Archie, just all Up for the future, and we certainly hope you'll continue to find happiness and joy with each other as a now married couple. I hope you'll always remember the happiness that you felt today and that this will continue with you into the future. If there's anything you remember of this ceremony, let it be the love you have for each other that brought you here today. During the ceremony to a suitable close, I'll now read a traditional Scots toast. I'm sure reflects the good wishes of everyone who knows you. May the best you've ever seen be the worst you'll ever see. May the moose near leave your girl with your tears wrapped in his ye. May your eye be healing hearty to get old enough to die. May your eye be just as happy as I wish your eye to be. Thank you. So the ceremony <laughs> is now over. Claudia and Archie, in spite of everything, I hope you still have an absolutely wonderful and a very memorable day. Mm -hmm. So Vic and Roslyn and everyone else out there, <laughs> can I ask you to join me in showing your appreciation for a happy couple, Archie and Claudia, who are now Mr and Mrs Cameron! <laughs> Thank you. 